and from so many other communities that decided to uh, come to Germany to have this Joomla day together. Mm. Before I start, uh, I say uh, I hope you all had good fun yesterday night. Uh, when I arrived last night, I was able to see uh, a lot of indications that the fun was pretty good. Mm. So I hope this will continue uh, tonight and from what I've just heard, maybe the day after uh, as well. Mm. And I must personally, I must say that personally for me that was a very hard choice where to go because on this weekend, there are so many Joomla events uh, around the world that the choice is pretty vast because you can either go to Joomla Day in Chicago if that's where you want to go. Uh, and there is a direct flight from my home city there. There is a Joomla Day in Vigo in Spain. Again, it's like a two hour flight. There is Joomla Day in Germany, obviously, where we are here right now. Uh, and starting tomorrow, there is Joomla Day Poland. So there are at least four Joomla events happening in the same weekend. Uh, we don't want that to happen. Mm, so uh, I'm very excited to see how, uh, how robust our uh, community is becoming and that there are so many events happening in the same time. Mm, and before I will get to the presentation, mm, do we have? Yay, perfect. Uh, so before, uh, before I will get there, uh, one more thing I would like to wish uh, a great Rosh Hashanah for all, all Jewish jumblers that are out there, because they're celebrating right now. Mm, why Joomla? Like that's the question uh, I got asked pretty often, mm, especially from people who already know what Joomla is, because usually, uh, the order of things is that first is like, what is Joomla? And then it's like, why do we want to, why Joomla? Like, why not all of the other solutions? Um, so I'll try to uh, tackle down that problem today. Mm. First, if you ask yourself a question, why Joomla? The first uh, thing that comes to minds of people as like the alternative is obviously WordPress. But I would like to try to go away from that, what I called an obsession of WordPress and an obsession of comparing Joomla to WordPress and looking as, at WordPress as the biggest threat to uh, what we do and where we are. Because actually I firmly believe that it's not WordPress uh, that is the biggest competitor to Joomla right now. I think those are these guys. It's Wix, it's Weebly, it's Squarespace. Uh, they are level threat to uh, not only Joomla community, but also a lot of businesses around Joomla. Those are, uh, those solutions, those SaaS solutions are challenging people who build websites, people who create extensions and themes, web hosting companies. Uh, almost everyone uh, is influenced by, uh, by the things those, those guys do. Because if you look at the website development process, like it used to work that way, and that's the way we also build most of Joomla websites. We develop our websites locally, we deploy it to a web server, uh, we, of course, while developing, we usually either use some free extension or we buy some. Uh, we create or buy a theme. And then we deploy it with a web hosting company. Uh, some of the examples of those we have here as sponsors. Thank you for, to them again. Um, but Wix has changed that game. Like Wix is eroding that market in a way that it offers something that is way easier uh, for an end user uh, and it makes it so easy for them to have the website that this old way of building websites is becoming obsolete. If you look at the Wix experience, how easy it is to go there, set up an account, 
go straight to this drag and drop website builder, uh, move all the uh, all the things that you want to have. You can you actually have a predefined content there, mm. and you just click publish, and you're there. And that is, Wix has grown over twenty percent year to year last month. Uh, sorry, year to year in the last twelve months. If you consider all of the domains that has been added to Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace, that's almost the same number of domains that GoDaddy uh, had acquired during, during that time. So Wix has become a huge challenge to, uh, to the industry. But it's not only, uh, it, it's, Wix is actually stealing dollars from everyone. Uh, he's stealing it from people who build websites, from people who build extensions, from people who do web hosting. So it's, uh, that's actually, uh, that's the competition we should look at and ask why somebody should use Joomla instead of going to Wix.com and build website there. And of course, there are different people who will be asking that question. So there are different perspectives on that question. Because the perspective of website owner, so a person that runs small business or a charity and wants to have a website, is it will be different than the perspective of website creator or web hosting company or someone who build extensions or themes. The view of people who are new to our community will be different uh, than of those who has been with Joomla for a long time and know every single line of it. Mm. So let's try to look at Joomla from those different perspectives. Like what will be why, like, what will be the answer to why Joomla question for each of those uh, groups? First, website owners. As said earlier, Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace are tempting. It's so easy to build the website. It's also pretty powerful right now. Like, we used to use the argument that you can't build a lot of things with Wix. It's still true, but there are less of, and less of those, and they are working hard in order to Make it uh, a to make it a platform that you can build every single website for. But there are things they cannot give. And the first one is actually they can't give you neither prestige nor uniqueness. Like Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace websites are generic. And you can easily see that. And if you are a small business owner uh, that is willing to have something that is truly yours, truly unique, uh, then definitely it's Joomla, not Wix, where you should head. Uh, and it's also about the, the sense of ownership, meaning that you don't own anything that is on Wix. Uh, you don't... But even if you believe otherwise, there are multiple ways to move your website from Joomla platform to any other platform. And that will never happen with Wix. Like, the, that is why if you are a website owner, or if you are selling to website owners, if you're trying to persuade website owners why they should trust you as a website professional and build website with you on Joomla, not on Wix, this is the kind of points you can make in order to, uh, to make your case stronger. Then, website creators. I don't know if you know, but there's a growing number of web professionals, if you can call them that way, that are building websites for other people for money on Wix. So it's actually market when website creators go to Wix and build websites for others for money. Uh, so let's think on why Joomla question from website creator perspective. So a person that builds websites. And I, when I say website creator, I mean both hardcore 
professional web developers and people who just integrate websites from uh, ready-made parts, because that's, uh, we all do same thing. We build websites for other people. We're just using different tools for that. Uh, and if you ask why Joomla from their perspective, uh, that will be mostly flexibility. Wix still has limitations, mm, and it's often difficult to do exactly what customer wants you to achieve with uh, that tool. And secondly, it's definitely efficiency. If you build one website after another in Joomla, you become so proficient that actually uh, launching a Joomla website takes you no longer than launching a Wix website, because you, you know what to do. Mm. And as Joomla is uh, so unique that you can use it for e-commerce solution, for small websites, for big websites, for mid-sized websites, for portals, for restaurant websites, like, there isn't a kind of website you can't build with Joomla, uh, which helps you to get more proficiency in it, because if you use it for every single project you do, uh, you just know it code base, you just know uh, how to use it, how to extend it, and what's the quickest uh, way to go to the end result. That is why uh, website creators should work on Joomla, not on anything else. Web hosting companies. I don't know if you've heard, but obviously Wix and Weebly, Squarespace are eroding web hosting market. That's a known fact because they're hosting their own websites and they're stealing those dollars from uh, web hosting companies. But even WordPress is, has become recently a competitor for web hosting companies. Uh, as you may know, WordPress has its own hosted platform, WordPress.com, and they have recently announced that right now on WordPress.com you can have a fully, full WordPress website with all the plugins and themes you may have. So it's actually now similar to a WordPress hosting plan. So you can easily say that Automatic, maker of WordPress, has become a web hosting company right now. So there was a lot of hosting companies that were betting on WordPress, that were promoting WordPress uh, throughout last year, last years, and now uh, it's WordPress decide that he's going to take that they are going to take advantage out of it. Um, so if you ask why Joomla, if there is a hosting company asking me why Joomla, my answer is that we are not competitive. Like our goal is not to steal any dollars from you. And currently we are the only major CMS that can promise that. If you look at extension and theme developers, the answer is pretty similar, just the angle is a little bit different. Because I know that there has been a lot of extension and theme developers who are thinking uh, maybe we could migrate to WordPress or start offering WordPress extensions to make more money. Uh, but that's not the right angle. The problem is that extensions for Wix, extensions for Weebly and Squarespace, no matter they are available, uh, are mostly created by Wix, Weebly and Squarespace. Uh, and there is no marketplace. There is no, sub, there is no extensive support for businesses around that. So if you, if you bet on Joomla, if you focus on growing Joomla together, you're also uh, helping your own market to sustain and you're helping your own companies to grow. Because again, Joomla is not competitive. We are not uh, putting in the core solutions that are offered by plugins. That's a long-standing policy. Even when we, for example, uh, introduced custom fields a couple of versions ago, uh, uh, I've personally reached to a lot of people who were creating uh, CCKs, uh, so those rich content creators, to, make, to ask them whether they feel threatened by this feature, and none of them said yes. They're all happy that Joomla is bringing this feature into the core. Mm, and that's exactly the attitude we have in Joomla. We are not trying to steal anyone's market, 
And again, that's not the fact that can be promised by our, either Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, or even WordPress, who's regularly including features from popular plugins into the core. Then, newcomers. Uh, when I was asking myself, what is the reason why a new person should learn Joomla, I've realized that it's actually because it's written well. Like, there is, if you look at the code base of Wix, well, you can't from the backend perspective, so you can't learn anything from that. If you look at WordPress code base, you can, but it's definitely not a great learning experience. Uh, so if you want to become a better developer in time, if you want to learn good practices in terms of coding, that's exactly why you should use Joomla. Because there is a high price we pay for that. We've broken backward compatibility because of that once or twice and cause a lot of other problems, but thanks to that, our code base is healthy, it's well written, and you could, you could use that as the way to, of learning actually how to code better. So if you are new in that space, and if you want to learn how to code better, working with Joomla will help you along the way, because you will just see a lot of good practices in the Joomla core code. And then, if you are an old, old timer, if you've been to four, five, six Joomla days, you've been working with Joomla for eight, 10, 12 years, or you even still remember what Mambo was, uh, then again, it's efficiency and it's convenience. You know the code base so well that it's so easy for you uh, to actually create one website after another on Joomla that there is no point of switch, there is no point and switching to any other technology. Because Joomla is working hard as a community to uh, move this project forward. And any other technology you will switch to will be more limiting than Joomla is. I know we do have some downsides, but still, uh, that's the only project that can guarantee you that whatever will be your client expectation, you can build it with Joomla. And there is a couple of sessions throughout this uh, Joomla day that proves that point from SEO perspective, from launching high traffic website perspective. So do attend them and, uh, and see that that's really possible. Like there is no size of website, no matter how small or how big it is, that cannot be handled by Joomla. So once again, why Joomla? As you know, there is a couple of angles as you've been able to see, we can look at it. There is a different perspective from uh, a website owner perspective, the different perspective uh, will be offered to uh, a website creator, but web hosting companies and theme developers, extension developers uh, will also have a different angle in that, but no matter who you are in the web publishing ecosystem, you will benefit from using Joomla more than any other solution that is out there. Uh, so I think it's not difficult to sell Joomla at Joomla Day, because we all know Joomla, we all use Joomla. But I know this question comes pretty often in different discussions, maybe not only within the Joomla community, but also on the outside uh, when you speak with other people. Mm. So I wanted to give you a couple of points that can help you to you know, reinforce your case for Joomla and make it stronger, because we will only grow if our community will become stronger and bigger. And the only way to do that is actually to recruit more people. And to be able to recruit more people to community, we need to be able to clearly answer the question why we should use Joomla and why anyone uh, should be using Joomla. Thank you.